Hey there. Okay, this is a demonstration of a noise issue I discovered for the uh, JBL SRX series of powered speakers. I've got uh, here two SRX 815Ps. One I'm using uh, as an output from this mixing board, this little Mackie mixer. And then the second one to use as the noise generator source. And then as a control, I've got this uh, little ElectroVoice uh, ZXA1. Uh, Neither one of these has any signal cables going into it. I'm just plugging in power. All right, so here's the setup. I've got one Shure SM58 plugged into channel one with a uh, Whirlwind NK series microphone cable. I think it's about uh, 15 or 20 feet long. And then I've got the output of the board, left channel, feeding this SRX815P so that we can monitor the noise. Now, purposely with this SRX815P, I've got the power cable strung away from the microphone cable and it crosses at a, a 90 degree angle up above over here, uh, which tends to not induce the noise problem I'm talking about. The noise problem is caused by microphone cable being parallel to the power cable of the SRX. And when they're in close proximity like this, the SRX cable is inducing noise into the mic channel, and of course, uh, vocal microphones in particular, you have to use more gain often than uh, instrument mics. And uh, on my system here, I was getting that buzz noise intermittently. Couldn't figure out what was causing it. For a long time, I thought it was LED uh, par lights up above here, working lights, or possibly these uh, string light dimmers, which are Lutron, that are not supposed to give off noise. Anyhow, um, what uh, winds up happening is when you have even one open mic, you can hear a little bit of buzz, but you get two, three, four, or five, six vocal mics going, and you've got monitor power cables and mic cables running around the stage, especially across the front. They tend to be in parallel, you know, for tidier sight lines and uh, taping down for tripping and whatnot. So anyway, um, here's what the noise sounds like. I will unmute this channel here, one on the mixer, and here's the 815P. So you can see this is just one mic cable and uh, one noise source over here. So the mic cable is parallel on the top of these subwoofers to the power cable. Go around the other side here, around here, and then the power, uh, the power cable is uh, terminated into the JBL right now, and then the mic cable continues on on the other side. I got running over here, just off into no man's land, so we don't get feedback. Okay, so here we are. Got a pretty loud buzz. If I pull the power cable here on the JBL, ooh, noise gone. Plug it back in. Uh, the buzz is slight, but then as the uh, amp module boots up, the buzz is pretty distinct, pretty loud. Now as a control, I've got the EV uh, speaker here, also with no signal cable plugged in. If I pull this out and plug it in here, hey, look at that. Relatively quiet. Very, very slight buzz, because I've got, uh, there's still JBL power cables in somewhat of a proximity to the mic cable, so even this one is going to generate a little bit of noise into the mic cable, but it's, it's pretty subtle. Come back over here, unplug this, get back in there. Oh, and there it is again. So my conclusion is that JBL didn't use adequate filtering uh, on their uh, AC cord, uh, at least the, you know, somewhere in the chain. And uh, the buzz is actually pretty bad at times. And, uh, you know, until I figured it out uh, so I could move the cables around to mitigate it, I, you know, had some buzzy shows, didn't know what it was. Um, interestingly, the buzz has a very similar resonance to uh, a mechanical buzz that a few of my JBL speakers have. The actual amp modules have a mechanical resonation on their own, which has very similar artifacts. So. It's probably the same devices uh, in there causing that buzz and causing the AC cables to act like a, a noise antenna. So there you have it. Sorry the video was long, but I wanted to be thorough. Thanks.
for listening.